Hello everybody, Morbtron here. Today we are looking at the new Gambit Prime SMG, the Bug Out Bag. Now, I personally got mine from a Gambit Prime match, and I got it randomly after taking down one of the Primeval's envoys. So during the Primeval phase, I took down one of the envoys, and I got this little pride and joy delivered right straight into my inventory. There's a multiple different ways I've been hearing people getting the weapons in Gambit Prime, like the hand cannon I reviewed a couple days ago, and now this SMG. Both of those I got from killing one of the envoys in the Primeval match, or during the Primeval phase. But I have heard of people getting rewarded weapons from turning in things like 15 motes at once, from taking down high value targets, from defeating multiple blockers and getting like a multi-kill on blockers, uh, doing a full team wipe on the enemy team during an invasion, that sort of thing. Basically, any time in Gambit Prime where you receive a token, like a Reaper token or an Invader token or a Sentry token or a Collector token, any time that you have received one of those, that is a chance to get a Gambit Prime weapon. So happy farming, folks. But this one specifically, this is the curated role, meaning that the role is locked. There's no other choices here. Uh, mine did come with a targeting adjuster mod already in it, so that's what I'm rolling with. But the curated does come with a fully decked out reload masterwork. This thing does reload lightning fast, especially when the magazine is empty because of alloy magazine. But kind of the interesting part about this weapon specifically is that it's got multi-kill clip which is a new trait that was added in during this last update. So, reloading grants increased weapon damage, just like regular Kill Clip does, but unlike regular Kill Clip, the more kills you get before you reload, the higher your damage output is going to be. Doesn't really come into play all that often, as it is an SMG, and it has 33 rounds in the mag, so the chances of you getting a multi-kill in places like the Crucible before you reload pretty slim. Will it happen sometimes? Yes, of course it will, because anything is possible. But most of the time you're going to get a kill before you reload. So it's going to feel just like having regular kill clip in the Crucible. But in PvE, of course, you can get a uh, proper good amount of multi-kill rolling before you reload on little red bar enemies. But on big bosses, don't expect to be using this little thing because it's not going to put down the hurt unless they are little red bar enemies. It also does have slide ways, which does grant a temporary boost to handling and stability after you slide. Not really going to come into play, especially the way that I use SMGs. Um, especially in the Crucible, when you're using an SMG, most of the time you're going to be you know, trying to defend against shotgunners when you're using an SMG and you're going to be backpedaling or jumping up in the air backwards while firing to try to take down a shotgunner before they hit you. And I do some Crucible testing with a buddy of mine, Casper. You know, going over damage numbers and things like that in Crucible. I don't do like a live commentary Crucible match with this SMG because I did want to give it a proper shakedown rather than just giving an opinion about it while in a Crucible match with it. And it does a pretty good job. It does a fair amount of damage. And if you can backpedal and you know where a shotgunner is going to be coming from, you can take them down fairly easily. But if you're not paying attention or a shotgunner catches you off guard, you're probably going to have a bad time. But let's, uh, let's see what this weapon can do in PDE. And then we will go into that Crucible testing. So, hip fire with it on PC, anyway, is very, very good as hip fire isn't very penalizing on a mouse and keyboard but I imagine on console you're going to want to aim down sights but aim down sight speed on it is fairly quick and it is very very accurate as well and the range stat is actually pretty good as well um, so you're not going to be really hurting yourself trying to take somebody down from a distance with this thing but as you can see you know it does reload fairly quickly even when the magazine isn't empty but when the magazine is completely empty, it is very, very fast. And you'll see here on this Lost Sector boss, it, yeah, it does a fair amount of damage. But you gotta keep in mind, it is just a Lost Sector boss. 
So if you're looking for an SMG, especially if you're trying to go for the Recluse, and you happen to get your hand on this thing, and you want to give it a shout, it is definitely worth a try. It is a very, very good looking SMG, and 900 RPMs are probably my favorite to use all around for SMGs. Um, but it's not going to be as strong as a shotgun, especially if somebody's using the chaperone and knows how to use it. You are going to have a real bad time against them in the Crucible, but a slower firing or even a full auto shotgun now that has a much lo uh, shorter range stat on it, you should be able to backpedal as long as you know where they're coming from and take them down without issue. Well, let's do that Crucible testing now to see uh, you know what it can do, what the numbers are, all that sort of thing to round out the rest of this video. Alright, so we're in a Crucible setting with our little SMG that could here. Now, I'm not doing a regular Crucible match because, uh, truth be told, I am not that great at using SMGs in a live fire Crucible setting. I'm a fan of hand cannons, what can I say? Um, so I've got my assistant Casper here. He's gonna kinda help me show off what the SMG can do. Now, it does do 17 to the head and 13 to the body, which at 900 RPM is quite fast. So we're gonna see how fast we can melt him here. This would be like best case scenario. I'm gonna try to hit him in the head the entire time. And then uh, we're gonna see if we can keep multi-kill clip rolling. So he's gonna try to get back here as quick as we can. We'll see what we can do here. So you can see there like it's it's decent but it's not the best. I mean it's an SMG. Um, we weren't able to keep multi-kill clip rolling, but that's fine. Um, obviously, with multi-kill clip rolling, it is going to do more damage. Um, and you can see its range. We should probably check out its range here, too. Um, it is pretty decent, you know, but you're still going to have to be able to take down a shotgun rusher. And I'll, In fact, uh, I'll have Casper just rush me with a shotgun next time. We'll see if I can kill him before he reaches me. Um, that's kind of the main thing you have to go up against with an SMG. You really have to uh, try to... You're going to have to backpedal, but I actually did there. Um, but if he was using like the Chaperone, I was definitely within kill range for the Chaperone. And there he actually did a decent amount of damage to me too, so... If you're caught off guard with it, I mean, I'm, I'm, this is a perfect scenario where I'm watching where he's coming from. But, like, if I'm over here just, like, derping around, you know, I'm I'm dead. See? Like, if I'm fighting somebody else and I have to turn and engage somebody sprinting at me with a shotgun, I'm not going to have a good time. So, I think he was out of ammo there. But, uh, yeah, so it's, you're going to get caught with your pants down using an SMG, but uh, with multi-kill clip and slideways... That was a bad idea. I slid towards a shotgun rusher. Never do that. Never slide towards a shotgun rusher. But, I mean, it, it can... If you backpedal enough and you can kind of watch your radar and see where the shotgunners are coming from, you can get some plays with it. I mean, it's not going to be, obviously, as, as good as a shotgun. But, I mean, even there, I missed most of my shots and still got it. So, with a little work, I think I could do pretty good... And the range stat on this thing is actually pretty nice as well, and the reload is extra crispy. I don't know how much I would use slide shot with it. You know, slide shot does increase the range of a lot of shotguns. Um, but, and so slide shot is actually really, really good for those. Um, but I think I'd probably use slide shot more just to kind of reload the weapon a little bit. Because um, obviously, you don't want to get into like a sliding contest. Oof, that was close. That was close, and I knew exactly where he was coming from. Um, so, <laughs> he's telling me no. No, he doesn't want to. No. But, uh, yeah, so... It could be decent, you know, especially if you're going for SMG kills, trying to get your quest done. If you can get... Oh, no. Yep, there's no... No ending that, that's for sure. Um, 
But yeah, so if you can get your hands on it, the curated roll, it can be pretty good. Um, is it the best thing in the world? I mean, it's an SMG, so no. Anybody using the chaperone that's good at the chaperone, that can be nice and sneaky, is going to outright slaughter you. But if you want to use an SMG, shake up the meta a little bit, it's a good option. It's a very, very stable. And, uh... Ow. Whoo! And it can get the job done. It's stable. It does a lot of damage. Multi-kill clip is really, really fun to use in PvE. I don't know how often multi-kill clip would come into effect in the Crucible. Um, but it is kind of like a kill clip effect anyway. But that is going to be it for this video. So if you liked it, positive rating is greatly appreciated by hitting that like button for me. If you're new here, subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And it doesn't cost you a damn thing. So go ahead and hit that sub button for me. We are less than 400 subs away now from 5,000. And the uh, support on the channel has been nuts. So thank you very much for that. Not going to outgun a machine gun. But do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And I will catch you all next time.